Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Around the Table GTA. Recently, I've been dealing with canceled guest episodes, uh, rescheduling, and a plethora of different things. But we're back with another episode. And yeah, you know, the season's changing. It's almost springtime once again. And that means we're going to have to retire this intro soon. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this intro, but it's time to retire it. Maybe we'll bring it back later in the year. But this episode's main focus is going to be about presence, especially since there has been gaps in episodes every once in a while. And it's something that we all have to take into consideration that you know, your presence can be a big changing factor in things, whether it's how things get done, if things get done, and how well things can go without you being there. Presence is a key factor when it comes to even showing up for yourself. Um, Just for example, if you do have a goal or anything that you have to or you want to achieve, you need to be present there, um, especially in your mind for the goal that is at hand. If you have a goal that's two, three, four, five months ahead, you need to have that visual um, vision of yourself, of how you will look in that time and continuously work towards it. Recently, Um, I've been under the weather as well as trying to get into shape. Uh, I think I mentioned in the last episode that my shoulder has been pretty off. I've been doing therapy for that. And that's been slowing down my progress for how I want to look later down in the year. But with that being said, I'm still trying my best to do what I can. And that all has to do with presence even with the consistency of the podcast I have to be also mentally there I have to have a topic I have to um, just be present where it's just like okay you know what I'm gonna get up and do this the same thing when it comes to working out same thing even going to work um, going to school just living life you know you have to be like why am I getting up (laughs) <laughs> and it's it's so strange i guess uh it's a western idea and when i say western i just mean like first world uh i'm not saying that other places aren't first world but it's a concept because i did see a, a short on this guy talking about depression and then after um he was with a tribe that was like out in the jungle and he mentioned america and somehow like this tribe heard about america And they said, why would I want to go to America? And their version of America or the West or even like first world countries was that, why would I want to go to a place where I would get so upset that I'd jump off a building just not to deal with it? And it really made me think because like when I went on my trip um, to Ghana a while back, it really did make me think like if I wanted to stay here or not just because of the pacing of how that place was and how just the culture was different in the sense where um, I felt a lot less stressed in general. I'm not saying that all stress is bad. I'm not saying I'm constantly stressed, but uh, when you change your environment and your environment is so drastically different, you can feel the difference and it shows and people also see it as well Uh, just to give you an example uh, when I switched from nights to afternoons uh, one person even mentioned how like my face changed apparently like my face used to blow up on nights but even then uh, some people noticed that I generally seemed more happy and I was happy (laughs) because you know I was getting my sleep and everything and it goes to show right like your presence does matter even when you have a shift in your mood people can't tell and people may or may not comment because uh, whether they feel like being that assertive or not but 
your presence does matter and people will feel it uh in this current day and age people call it vibes right the vibes are off or you know uh the vibes are banging <laughs> it's uh it's a core thing to your identity or how you're perceived and perception is something that is um it's something that's important as well despite how you feel or even if you don't care how people view you or whatever how you're perceived is very important especially later in life especially when you are trying to make connections with others especially when um others are trying to um interact with you you know if there's a perception that you're a horrible person or you're a bully the chances of people are that are going to want to work with you it's going to be lower but at the same time you know sometimes you can use perception to your advantage or if people have that view of you you can use that to kind of call and if you don't know what call is just like just minimize the amount of people that interact with you and then the people who actually interact with you might see your true face this is a double-edged sword but at the same time it keeps your circle small and it also can make sure that people walk a very narrow line when they come into your presence because they're not sure what is going to happen but yeah this is going to be a short episode hopefully you guys did enjoy it uh focus on your presence i know some of these uh episodes they overlap there's only so much things that you could talk about especially when you're by yourself but it is what it is uh i am rescheduling a guest episode soon and I'm getting back on the grind with episodes as well, just to boost my presence online as well. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this episode, uh, and if you guys could share, that'd be great. I'll catch you guys on the next one, and take care.